Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the best way, in my opinion, to convert any log footage from any camera into Rec. 709. Little spoiler, it's not conversion LUTs. But before we get started, two things. One, if this video helps you out, if you enjoy it, if you have a good time, please be sure to hit like down below. You know the drill, helps the video get seen, helps grow the channel, and that would mean a lot to me. Number two, we're we're in a new a new spot. I got a house recently, and by recently I mean like two days ago we moved in. So forgive the shot. I don't love it yet, but I do have a studio, a room. It's a spare bedroom, but it is a full room dedicated to making YouTube videos and shooting stuff and just hanging out and maybe playing a little Apex. So more to come from this space, probably a room tour. But today we're talking about color grading and converting log footage, any log footage, not just test log, not just red log. Let's open DaVinci Resolve and talk about this. <laughs> There's a couple different ways you can convert your log footage. Number one, you can do it all yourself with your color grading tools in DaVinci, Premiere, Final Cut, whatever you're using. Number two, you can apply a conversion LUT. But what we're talking about today, number three, is using the color space transform effect in DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you how to do it real quick and then I'll explain why I think it's the best and why I like it much more than using LUTs or just doing it myself. So let's do it. So we have one node right here. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one and then come up to open effects, search for color space transform and drop it on that second node. There's a lot of drop down menus right here but we really only need to worry about the first two. First one is input color space. I shot this in Sony S Gamut 3 Cine, that's what it's called. And then my input gamma was S Log 3. So let's find that. And uh, we're done. Thanks so much for watching the video. That's that's a lame joke. I'm not doing that. We're not, the video's not over. You can tell, you know it's not over. You can see on the little, you know, the red bar down here, you know it's not over. But we're done. Like with this method, I mean, we are converted. Now that that's done, let me break down real quick why I like it better than converting it myself or using conversion LUTs. Converting it myself takes too long, too much effort, and I might not do it the same way every time on every clip. Yes, I could definitely copy and paste or save a grade that is my conversion grade, but the thing about going in and shifting things around is all these clips look different. Even if they're all shot on S-Log3, I am going to have the tendency to start making differences, pulling highlights down, pulling shadows up, changing white balances in my conversion. That's just me. I mean, if the opportunity to change things is there, I might waste time. And that's the point that I'm trying to make. Doing it yourself takes a lot of time and it gives you options and opportunities, which is great, but I might not be doing it correctly and I might not be doing it consistently. So unless I have a shot that just for some reason is not working with Color Space Transform or I need to do something wild to it, I'm generally not going to convert it myself. With Color Space Transform, I can literally copy this right here. I mean, there's a lot of other ways to get it on all my clips, but I mean, every clip can be converted that easy, you know? Done. And then I can start grading on whatever node I want, which brings me to the reason that I don't want to use conversion LUTs. Besides like the fact that color space transform is just a more robust type of math and type of conversion to get your log into Rec. 709, sometimes conversion LUTs will just clip your highlights. Like it won't be able to read or interpret the highlight information. Again, I'm not an expert on this literally at all, but sometimes It'll just clip your highlights, assign them a new like clipped data number, and you're not gonna be able to get the detail back. While more often than not, you would get that data back and that detail back if you use Color Space Transform. Another big annoyance with LUTs is you have to operate on the node or the layer before you apply the LUT. If you don't, you might lose detail and then not be able to pull it back later. Like check this out. So we have my conversion LUT, right? Pretty dope. Pretty good exposed shot, I mean, uh, you know, I shoot around. Let's just say, for the sake of this example, that this shot was overexposed. We can see in my scopes, overexposed. I placed my conversion LUT here and I'm editing. And I'm like, oh man, this shot is overexposed. I need to pull these highlights down. I start pulling them down and no data is coming back. The image is getting darker, but we can see in the scopes right here, it's a flat line, which means no detail, no data. But if I jump back over before the LUT and bring that down, there is our data. Again, obviously I could just be smart and 
bring my highlights down before the LUT, but it's about simplicity for me. If there's a technique where I can just not have to think about the whole, make sure I work on the node before the LUT to get detail back, I'm gonna do that, and that's Color Space Transform. To cap it off, if you wanna convert it yourself, freaking go for it. If you don't have DaVinci Resolve, use conversion LUTs. They are made by the camera companies. They're pretty dang solid, and you can work around in color grade. Just make sure you're doing your exposure adjustments before the LUT is applied. But yeah, guys, I discovered this a couple of months ago. I've been grading a lot in DaVinci. It's probably the most fun video editing thing I've done in a long time. So just wanted to share that with you. Literally whatever works, whatever you enjoy, whatever is easiest for you, go do that. Y'all, I really appreciate you watching. It means a freaking ton to me. This is the first video I've made in a minute, and it's I've been recording for a long time for how short this video is, so thanks for sticking around. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe down below. We got the studio editing suite. I'm going to build it out, and I'm going to make it where I can just walk in here, bust out a YouTube video, make content, make stuff I enjoy. So if you want to join me on that journey, check out the desk tour, the studio tour coming up. Hit subscribe and I'll see y'all next week. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching.